Hello dear students, in this video I will continue with uh, the term 2 portion of the 6th unit which is time series or time based data. Here I will solve the questions from exercise 11.3 of chapter 11 index numbers and time based data from class 12 applied mathematics by Yamal Agarwal. So the exercise says so fit a straight line trend by the method of least squares and tabulate the trend values from the following data. So we have to we have to find the straight line trend by the method of least square and we should also tabulate that the, the trend values for each of these years based on the given data. The first question we have for various years the sales in 1000 rupees is given. So I have drawn the table here with the, uh, the data given in the question is written. So for various years the sales in, in 1000 rupees for 2004 it is 26 then for 2005 also 26,000, 2006 44,000. 2007 42,000, 2008 1 8,000, 2009 1 20,000 and 2010 1 66,000. So this is the sales data which is given for various years. We have to find the best fit straight line, straight line trend for this given data. So the first step is we have to shift the origin. So this is xi. So let us find the x as xi minus here the number of years is 2, 4, 6, 7. So we can take this middle year as the origin. So xi minus 2007. As a result here we have 0 then 2006 minus 2007 minus 1, 2005 minus 2007 minus 2, 2004 minus 2007 minus 3. Here 2008 minus 2007 is 1. 2009 minus 2007 is 2, 2010 minus 2007 is 3. As a result, we get summation x as 0. And then we have to find x square, xy and then we have to find the trend values. After finding the constants a and b. a is calculated as summation y upon n. So this is y. So when we add all these, we get summation y as 532. And n is the number of observations or the number of years. So here the number of years is 7. So a is 532 by 7, which is 76. And then b is calculated as summation xy upon summation x square. So this we have to find from these values. So x square is minus 3 the whole square, 9 minus 2 the whole square, 4 minus 1 the whole square, 1, 0, 1 square, 2 square is 4 and 3 square is 9. So when we add all these, we get summation x square is 28. And then we have to find x, y. So first value is 26 into minus 3, minus 78, 26 into minus 2, minus 52, then 44 into minus 1, minus 44, then 42 into 0, 0, then 108 into 1, 108, then 120 into 2, 240. Then 106 into 3, 498. So when we add all these, we get summation xy as 672. So b is 672 upon 28. Summation xy by summation x square. So it is 672 upon 28. This is equal to 24. So the best fit straight line trend is given by y equal to a plus bx. So it is y equal to a is 76 plus b is 24 
x. So we can calculate the trend values using this trend line. So for 2004 the trend value is 76 plus 24 into minus 3. So it is equal to 4. So we have to substitute x as x as minus 3 first, then minus 2, then minus 1, then 0. Like that we have to proceed and we have to find the trend values. And then we have 76 plus 24 into minus 2. So this is equal to 76 minus 48 which is 28. Then we have 76 plus 24 into minus 1. 76 minus 24 which is 52. Then 76 plus 24 into 0. This is 76. Then 76 plus 24 into 1. So this is 100. Then 76 plus 24 into 2. It is 124. 76 plus 24 into 3. This is 148. So these are the trend values. Now this calculation I have written extra. It is not necessary to write all these calculations. It is enough if you write these trend values directly. So the best fit straight line trend is given by yt equal to 76 plus 24x. And these are the, the trend values for the observed values. Moving on to the next question. So for year 2001-2002 till 2006, the production in tons, this data is given. Again, we need to fit a straight line trend by the method of least squares and find the trend values. So the data which is given in the question, it is written here. So we have here production in tons and then here we have this is xi and this is y, x is xi minus, here the, the year in the middle it is 2003, so xi minus 2003, so here we have minus 3, minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1, 2, 3. As a result summation x is 0, then we have x square and then xy. So here x square is 9, 4, 1, 0, 1, 4, 9. So all these add up to 28. Now we can find xy. xy is 14 to minus 3, minus 120. Then 45 into minus 2, minus 90. Then 46 into minus 1, minus 46. Then 42 into 0. 0, 47 into 147, 50 into 200, then 46 into 3, 138. So all these add up to, it will be 285. See all these add up to 285 and this one is negative 256. As a result summation xy is 29. And summation y. Summation y it is the sum of all these data. It is 316. So, A equal to summation y by n. So, it is 316 by 7 which is 45.14. B is summation xy by summation x square. So, it is 29 by 28 which is 1.04. So, the best to fit straight line trend it is yt is equal to 45.14 plus 1.04x. Now let us find the trend values. 
plus 1.04x. So we can put x as minus 3, then minus 2, then minus 1, then 0 and find the trend values. So here it is 45.14 minus 1.04 into 3. So it is 42.02. Then 45.14 minus 1.04 into 2. It is 43.06. Then 45.14 minus 1.04, 44.1. Then 45.14 plus 0 is 45.14. Then 45.14 plus 1.04. So it is 46.18. Then 45.14 plus 1.04 into 2. So it is 47.22. And finally, 45.14 plus 1.04 into 3. It is 48.26. So, like this, we can write the values directly, the trend values directly after doing the calculations. Moving on to the next question. Fit a straight line trend by, by the method of least squares and tabulate the trend values. So, for various years. From 96 to 2004, the y value is given. So, let us draw the table. So, we have the year here and the y values here. Here, the number of years is 2, 4, 6, 8, 9. So, the year in the middle is 2000. So, we can take x is equal to xi minus 2000. As a result, we have minus 4, minus 3, minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. 1996 minus 2000 minus 4, 1997 minus 2000 minus 3, 1998 minus 2000 minus 2, 1999 minus 2000 minus 1. Then 2000 minus 2000 is 0, 2000, 2001 minus 2000 is 1, 2002 minus 2002. And so on. So like that it goes. Then we have x square, then x y, and then we have the, the the trend values. So x square will be 16, 9, 4, 1, 0, 1, 4, 9, 16. So here all these add up to. So, here summation x square is 60. Summation x is 0. And now let us find xy. So, xy is 4 into minus 4 minus 16. 7 into minus 3 minus 21. 7 into minus 2 minus 14. 8 into minus 1 minus 8. 9 into 0 0. 11 into 1 1. 13 into 2 26. 14 into 3, 42 and 17 into 4, 68. So, when we add all these, we get 60, I am sorry, 88. And now, let us add all the y values. So, here summation y is equal to, when we add all these, we get 90. So, a equal to summation y by n. Here the number of years is 9. So, this is equal to 90 by 9 which is 10. Therefore, a equal to 10. And b equal to summation xy upon summation x square. It is 88 by 60. So, it is equal to 1.47. So, the best fit straight line trend is given by y is equal to 10 plus 1.47 x. So, the trend values can be calculated using this equation. Now, we can put x as minus 4, minus 3, minus 2 and find the trend values. So, the trend values is, uh, it is 10 minus 1.47 into 4. 4.12, then 10 minus 1.47 into 3, 5.59, 5 
then 10 minus 1.47 into 2 7.06 then 10 minus 1.47 8.53 then 10 plus 0 0 we are substituting each of these values in x and simplifying this using the equation yt equal to 10 plus 1.47 into x then we have 10 plus 1.47 into 1. So, it is 10 plus 1.47, 11.47, then 10 plus 1.47 into 2, 12.94, then 10 plus 1.47 into 3, 14.41, and finally 10 plus 1.47 into 4, which is 15.88. So, these are the trend values. Moving on to the next question. Fit a straight line trend by the method of least squares and tabulate the trend values from the following data. For various years 2005 up to 2010, the profit in 1000 rupees is given. So, the table is drawn and the information given in the question is written here. Now, we have here we can see that the number of years is even, 2, 4, 6. So, the number of observations or the number of years is even. So, we have to find x is equal to, this is x i, this is y. So, the year in between these two is 2007.5. So, it is x i minus 2007.5 upon 0.5. So, this is how we have to find x. So, for the year 2005, we will have 2005 minus 2007.5 by 0 0.5. 2005 minus 2007.5 by 0 0.5. This will be minus 2.5 by 0 0.5. So, it will be minus 5. And for 2006, it will be 2006 minus 2007.5 divided by 0.5. It will be minus 1.5 by 0.5 which is minus 3. So, this will be minus 3. Here it will be minus 0.5 by 0.5 so minus 1. Here it will be 2008 minus 2007.5 by 0.5. So, it is 0.5 by 0.5 plus 1. Then 2009 minus 2007.5 by 0.5 will be plus 1.5 by 0.5 which is 3 and finally we have 5. As a result, all these add up to 0. And as usual we have x square, xy and the trend values. So, x square will be 25, 9, 1, 1, 9, 25 the square of each of these now if we add all these we get 70 now x y will be 5 into minus 5 minus 25 then 7 into minus 3 minus 21 9 into minus 1 minus 9 10 into 1 10 12 into 3 36 17 into 5 85 and all these add up to 76 and here summation y is when we add all these we get 60. So, a equal to summation y by n. So, it is 60 by 6 which is 10 and b is equal to summation x y upon summation x square. So, it is 76 by 70. This is equal to 1.1. So, the best fit straight line trend, it is given by yt is equal to 10 plus 1.1x. So, using this equation, we can find the, the trend values for the given observed values. So, yt equal to 10 plus 1.1 into x. So, for the year 2005, the trend value will be 10 plus 1.1 into minus 5. So, 10 minus 5.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.
and then for 2006 the 10 value will be 10 plus 1.1 into minus 3. So 10 minus 3.3 which is 6.7 then we have 10 into 1 point I am sorry 10 plus 1.1 into minus 1 10 minus 1.1 which is 8.9 then 10 plus 1.1 into 1 which is 11.1 then 10 plus 1.1 into 3, it is 13.3. Then 10 plus 1.1 into 5, which is 15.5. So these are the trend values and this is the straight line trend. Moving on to the last question. Fit a straight line trend by the method of least squares and tabulate the trend values from the following data. So we have for various years from 1980 to 1987, the production in 1000 quintals. So the production data is given. So the same information is written here and the table is drawn. Here again the sum of the years, I am sorry, the number of years is 2, 4, 6, 8. So the number of years is even. So we have to find the average of the two middle years. So we have this is xi, this is y. So we have x is equal to xi minus the average of these two will be 1983 plus 1984 divided by 2. So it is 1983.5 divided by 5. So as a result the x value for this year will be 1980 minus 1983.5 by 0.5. So it will be minus 3.5 by 0.5 which is minus 7. And here we will have 1981 minus 1983.5 by 0.5. It will be minus 2.5 by 0.5 which is minus 5. Then we will have minus 3, then minus 1, then 1, then 3, 5 and 7. As a result, the sum is 0. If the number of years is odd, for the, for the middle year we will have 0, then the value will go above 0 as minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, so on. And below 0, 1, 2, 3, like that it will go. If it is even, we will have for the middle 2 years, minus 1, 1. And then above we will have minus 3, minus 5, minus 7 like that and below 3, 5, 7. So like this we can proceed. And here we have x square and xy. So x square will be 49, 25, 9, 1, 1, 9, 25, 49. So all these add up to 168. And now we have xy. xy is 346 into minus 7. So minus 2422. Then 411 into minus 5. Minus 2055. Then 392 into minus 3. So minus 1176. Then 512 into minus 1. Minus 512. 626 into 1. 626. 640 into 3,120 and then 611 into 5, 3,055, 796 into 7, 5,572. So here all these when we add, we will get 6,165 with a negative sign. And all these when we add, we get 11,173. So this is equal to 5,008. So summation xy is 5,008. And summation y, when we add all these, we get 4334.
So, A equal to summation Y by N. It is 4334 by 8, which is 541.75. Then B is summation XY by summation X square. It is 5008 upon 168, which is 29.8. So, the best fit straight line trend, it is given by A plus BX. So, 541.75 plus 29.8 into X. So, using this, we can find the trend values. 541.75 plus 29.8 into x. So, here we can substitute x as minus 7, minus 5, minus 3, then minus 1, 1, 3, 5, 7 and find the trend values. So, when we do that and simplify for 1980, we get the trend value as 333.15. Then we have 541.75 plus 29.8 into minus 5. It is 392.8. Then we have 541.75 plus 29.8 into, into minus 3. So it is 452.35. And then 541.75 minus 29.8. 511.95 then 541.75 plus 29.8 571.55 then 541.75 plus 29.8 into 3 it will be 631.15 then 541.75 plus 29.8 into 5. So, it is 690.75 and then 541.75 plus 29.8 into 7. It is 750.35. So, these are the trend values for various years. Now, in all the question we have obtained a straight line the straight line trend as yt equal to some constant then plus some other constant b into x. Now, there are cases where we may get this b value as negative. If this b value is positive, it means it shows an increasing trend. If this b value is negative, it will show a decreasing trend. So, that is the difference. We may get b value as as negative. So, in the question if we get a b value as negative, we need not worry. We just have to find the trend values with a negative sign here. I hope this video was useful for you. Thank you for watching.